Hello and welcome to another episode of our Build a Nation series for Football Manager 23. In today's episode we are going to be looking at how we edit population. Yes I have found out how to do it and we also stumbled upon how to do weather as well for your nation or for your cities your local regions. Once we've done these tweaks in our database we are then going to run a five season simulation of our new nation. See how it's performing see if there's any other database issues that we might come across because we know that once we loaded up advanced rules we had an error and that's why we're doing a simulation to see if we spot anything else first thing that we're going to do is i found out how to get population so we're going to fix that but we had an error in our last save so i'm going to go back a version load edit data we had a 3.1 so i'm going to just go back one and if we save it i'll save it as a 3.2 as for latest so that we just keep the versions intact now this was before we went into advanced rules i believe yes we hadn't quite gone there yet but we know that this version works okay population and this is in database and i can't believe of where it was local regions and we had been in local regions already and if you look over population there's your population why is that not linking with london i don't think we linked any regions to our london nation what i will do first is as you can see we only will find 500 records because i've gone back to the defaulted which is 500 we're going to make sure that we pick them all up and go unlimited. Then we're going to go name. We're not going to do full search yet. Maybe we could go nation first, England, and see what England's got. And as you can see, we got London. So that's all we have. And I think that's the one we need to change. And that's going to be for population of London. And that's why we're on zero. Weather can't change anything. Oh, we can. What type of weather can we choose? English coastal. How come no weather was chosen? First place I've seen weather. English inland. But then again, I don't know what type of weather that's been set. Leave that as blank at a moment. Or do we? Wow, I never thought I'd be looking at weather. What do we have? Let's sort it out by alphabetical. And is it all just going to be English? We've got English coastal, English inland, and English northern. So London would be inland, right? And it gives, ah, oh, for a minute, it was going to give us nothing. It does. Over here, you can see spring, summer, autumn, winter. Wow, 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 wow. And what day it starts. Yeah, I think we've got to add that in. Just so that we are picking it up. Spring, calm, of 100, breezy, gusty, strong gale, dry, 50. Is this percentage? 50, 70, 85, 90, 100. So, yeah, it's doing it kind of out of 100%, which makes sense. Temperature, 55, 7 to 13 Celsius, mild. Oh, okay, so it's out of 100. Okay, that's a bit of a weird way of trying to work out. So, English mainland, we're going to make sure we add that to our local regions because I don't know if there's anywhere else. That's the first time I've seen it. Again, it might be one of those things that I've gone past. We will. If we see it, I will highlight it. But what we do need to do is change the nation to London because all these details make a big difference, make the game more realistic. Weather, search, English. Where English inland was quite near there it is. And we are happy with that. That is amazing. So now I'm going to actually save this data as version 3.2 because we haven't really moved on then. And then we're going to just quickly jump in game and see if that made the difference because it's always good to look at it. Did we verify that? I can't remember. Uh, yes, it's not verified, even though that we haven't done rule changes. That's fine. Test rules. The current nation rules are valid. Save. Amazing. Let's go back to the game. Our new game. Career. Removal. And now we can do that one. Amazing. Yeah, because that one's not verified because it came up with that error, which we will pick up in a minute. Make sure this is working. Perfect. More database just so it runs quick. Start game. We just want to see if that population, just to kind of tick that box, because it was on our list for, well, since the beginning. So I'd just like to tick it off. All right, so start a new game, rear date removal, we choose the right one, 3.2, verified, confirm, plant set up, you only need, and just got rid of it, didn't I? Uh, London, and get rid of England, confirm, then both, and then, okay, right, we're in the game, let's go and find London, 
type it in London. There we go. Now, does the population show? It still doesn't show. Why? We've associated the local region of London where population sits to London and we still don't get a population. Why? Is this a bug? If it is a bug, I'm going to look on the forums to see if anyone's noticed this. If it's not on there, I will raise it to for the Sports Interactive guys. And um, let's see, maybe they might fix it next year. Right, I guess we carry on. I'm not going to waste any more time on that. We know, between me and you, we know that we've added population into this. Maybe it might pop up as we do changes. Maybe something might trigger it. We will see. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm not going to hold my breath on this anymore. Right, let's go. Okay, so I know that I said that I wouldn't waste any more time on it, but is there anything on it? We did learn about weather. And we've inputted that in local regions. Just want to double check nation London. Now, what would happen if we put all the local regions that was associated to England in here? Yeah, English weather population should be what's that? Eight million, just over eight million, and it's not working. Oh, ah, wait one second. I didn't look at this cities. We've already changed this, haven't we? Got this inhabitants range, longitude, altitude. And if we go to London, nation London, there's nothing else for us to change here. Ah, so weather sits in there. I wonder if, if we didn't change that, that was going to be sitting there. Maybe that's where it's taking its weather from. Inhabitants range, nothing. Okay, let's go back. If I remove that, we go back to cities and we go back to London. Okay, so we don't need to put the weather in there. It's linked with the city. Learning new things every day. Where I'm from, England, West London, boy. Let's carry on looking at database. Uh, what? Where else would population? So if populations is linked with, I mean, we know it's not in nations, but weather was linked in two areas. So could population be somewhere else? That's what I'm thinking. Thing is, if you think about the tier of this, is that you have nation, then you have local regions, and then within local regions you have cities, and in cities, London local region london there's no other links when this is nation london now we have gone through all this before but i am just double checking i just want to rule it out that we have done everything that we need to here okay so uh i want to before we go into advanced rules i know that you guys are probably going crazy why are you not doing advanced rules it's because it broke and i just want to make sure that we are picking up everything right and there's things on my to-do list that i kind of wanted to tick off today i think this is more of a viewer brought it to my attention and i just want to see if there is a difference and i think this would be an amazing bit of insight for everyone as well for coefficients so what I'm going to do is in our current state, I believe that it's associated to clubs already being in Europe, that we've been given some sort of European qualification. Or it's just a thing that it could be a, a thing that we are actually affiliated to Federation. Uh, we're a full member of the worldwide governing body and that we've got a good reputation. Who knows? And if that is the case, and then obviously I might have to downgrade it. If you think that the nation of one place in Europe, when someone wins it, we get a Europa Conference League first qualifying round. To me, I think that's the bare minimum I probably would have expected when I created this. Because surely every single professional top league in Europe should get a qualification into one of the European competitions. So this makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these all to 50 like that. And we're going to save this as another version and we're going to see what it does. All right, so we loaded a new game. Let's go have a look. I have no idea what's going to happen here. It could just be exact same qualification. Oh, wow, that makes a big difference. That made a big difference. Wow. So Champions League. So first we get Champions League, Champions League, Champions League, Champions League group stage. But that is pending on winner of Europa League and then on UEFA Europa League and then on Europa. Wow. Well, there you go. I think that just answered everyone's questions on does your coefficients make a difference? That's it. Maxed out. So, <laughs> so if you don't get relegated, you're in Europe. You go to a league table. So that could potentially be, say that, uh, so Brentford could be in Europe. Who could get relegated? It'd be cheaper on Millwall. So that would mean Europe, Europe, Fulham, Europe, Palace, Europe, Chelsea, Europe, Brentford, Europe, and 
and Arsenal in Europe. That's what it looks like, right? Potentially. Yeah, nah. Um, I think I want the Euro coefficient to build up over time. I think that's for realistic and just have that basic. I mean, it's it's going to unsettle a lot of players in here. Maybe we can tweak it and find maybe... No, did we tweak it? We, I want kind of one Champions League and then one Europa League. That would be perfect for me. So I would presume this would affect all the other leagues. But we know that we had a Europa League error come up when we was doing advanced rules. But I didn't understand it because obviously a, all for, I haven't changed anything to do with that competition. So I'm also trying to understand that as well. I think at the moment we will, I might put a vote out. Might put a vote out. What should we should do there? That's a good question. I might do that on uh, Twitter and my YouTube community page. But I can't decide. Do we leave it like this? Crazy uh, qualification. You look at the teams and it's not that crazy, right? Potentially that still allows all of our Champions League teams to be in there, right? Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham. Yeah, let's have a think. But I think a poll's coming. So watch this space. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to go back to what we had. So we'll go back 3.2. Just show you that for coefficients are back to normal. I'm going backwards and forwards here because I'm trying to decide what's next on my list. And it is to test the league out. I want to do play five seasons. Just simulate it in the background. I'll, I'll be unemployed. Just simulate for nation. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to see what's happened. See if the game breaks or anything like that. Make sure that all competitions are working okay. Uh, that's linked with our competition. And then we are going to go into advanced rules. And we are going to most likely change one thing at the time. I might actually just get an advanced rules and see if I can verify it straight away with no changes. But I'll do that after this test. And that's probably where we're going to finish. If it verifies and it doesn't break, then we're going to do it one by one and verify. One by one, verify. Because obviously this is a big change and we just need to be careful what we change. All right, so I'm going to start off as unemployed and see what happens. Start playing, doing our test save. And then I'm going to go to my profile, go on holiday. And I am going to return. Actually, when does the season finish? Is that anything I need to look at? Division 1 finishes on 13th of May. Both 13th of May. Amazing. So 14th of May in five years. On holiday. Five years, eh? Oh, I think that's all we can do at the moment. We go to May. No, it's 13th, wasn't it? On the first day. You know what? I'll do 16th of May. There you go. Just in case there's some changes. So I'll do 17th. Set. And go on holiday and I'll see you in five seasons time. Here we are. Five seasons later. And we have got some world rankings. I'll see this was blank before. We are now 202nd in the world. Let's go and actually have a look at our national team. So who we got? Who's in our main team? Freddie Woodman, Max Aarons, Konza, Kilman, Peters, Willock, Riley, Elosi, Brewster. Brewster, how's he doing? 21 games, 3 goals. Eddie Nikita. Oh, 33 games, 20 goals for London. Wow, doing very good there. Who's he play for? He's gone to half of Berlin. Not doing too bad. Doing really well for London. Okay. Michael Alosi, 29 caps, 5 goals. He's at Roma. Schedules. We actually qualified for a World Cup, I think. No, so one friendly. Loads of friendlies. Loads of friendlies. And then we get to World Cup qualifying. Ah, oh, came third. So lost three games. Score 22 against 11. It's not bad. Same group as England. Presuming we lost. What game? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, we drew. Drew at Wembley as well. Uh, I wouldn't have been Wembley. Would have been at uh, Villa Park. Maybe we should have changed these ones, their allegiance. And then we lost 1-0. I mean, it's not, I mean, the team's not getting battered. I'll put Kane as a secondary Londoner, yeah. Other nationalities. Londoner. Because his place of birth is London. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they've got a good manager. Because if we go back, we've got Benitez. As their manager. Has he been there since the start? Yeah, 2022. So he's literally been there for five seasons. Fair enough. Still no population. Okay, so check out divisions. Division one. Ah, this is 3.1. Why are they obtaining Champions League and all that now? We go, okay, interesting. It's, that's built up over time for us. Yeah, look, relegated. <laughs> Jordan still got in for Conference League. I wonder if it's because someone won Champions League. Yeah, Champions League. Ooh. Considering I put this as zeros, their coefficient, it must be down to clubs as well, you know. That's interesting. So we go to that. 32 games played with their cup games as well. We will put in cup games. It's 32 enough. Do you know what I, I might do? I might make one league and then split it in half. But then we get no relegations. Nah, that's fine. Nah. So Arsenal won the league. Fulham came third. 
heard of both Tottenham. QPR Millwall got relegated as expected. So that means Charlton and Leighton Orient would have come up. They got relegated. You reckon that that there for two teams just going to keep on bouncing? Oh, Millwall stayed up. Charlton Wimbledon. Millwall stayed up again. Oh, Sutton went up that time, but came down. QPR. And that's it. So Millwall's doing all right. They're surviving. So they went down, came back up, survived. Six. Six is their best twice. Sutton. <laughs> we check Division 2 in a minute. So, okay, that's interesting. And then Division 2. AFC Wimbledon have been randomly chosen over Bromley after both teams finished on 37 points with the same record. And then it's the same with Dulwich, randomly chosen. So that is one thing to add to our list when we're doing advanced rules, just to choose how we want them to be positioned, right? I would have done winning, how many games won, how many drawn, there, well, it should be goal difference, but they're on the same goal difference. No, Wimbledon has one more goal, but they didn't get it, so they got it anyway. But Dolwich and Barnet are 17, so Dolwich should have got it, but they're the same randomly chosen. Charlton Leighton won it, Dolwich bottom, Dolwich came bottom on every single one. Oh, right. Charlton Leighton, QPR, Millwall, they're both teams who went down. Charlton, Wimbledon, slight difference there. Where's Sutton come from? Third, fourth, third, then got promoted. Yeah, we will join Wimbledon, QPR Sutton, Palace came third, then we go up second, John go up, and that's it. Okay, interesting. And then if we go to Champions League, biggest one, obviously, I want to make sure it has worked, is Europa League. For some strange reason, that broke. Okay, so the first one was Real Madrid, Porto, and none of our teams are in the final there. Barcelona, Munich, Real Madrid, Liverpool, PSG, Man City, and this one's still not yet to play, but it's not in our league, so that's fine. But no one from London has won for Champions League in those five seasons. I'm also trying to understand why we've got so many European spaces. Places? Places? Spaces? Uh, Europa League stages. He hasn't played, but none of our teams in there. That's fine. Probably would have played it to see. Arsenal got to the final. Bournemouth got to the final. They're not London, no. Tottenham got to the final. And then that's it. Okay. About conference league stages. Final. None of us. So let's just go back. Freiburg. Arsenal. Oh, we've got a European winner. Yeah. Arsenal Conference League. Tottenham got to the final. That's it. So, not that much. I mean, the team's now got a chance of winning Europe, just for the fact that they're in Europe. Uh, let's go and check our champions. I'm not going to check every team. But let's just check Chelsea. They won for the league last season. And let's check their transfer history. Let's have a look. Obviously, they've got money. Have they managed to bring in still good players? Born Asenso, James Justin, got rid of Loftus Cheek. Okay, next. Oh, actually, any big loans? No. So they maintained all their players. Brought in no one, but then they had a bit of a clear out. Malang Sar, gone. Kovacic, gone. Oh, he's on loan. Aspaqueta to Juventus. And then they spent some money. Nabi Keita, Kone, Kone. Need big players out. Kovacic eventually went after his loan. Hotan to Real Madrid. Does it actually become that good? I mean, a bit of a super sub, really, isn't he? Subs, subs, subs. No, he did all right for Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, he's all right, isn't he? Would I buy him? Hmm, I don't know. So dead goalie. Trevor Shalabar gone to Newcastle. Cassade to Man City. And that's it. Okay, next season. Spent 71 million. Calvin Phillip loaned from Real Madrid. I hear Calvin Phillips always goes Man City to Real Madrid. It's funny. Loan, if loaned Trent. It's a funny one. Len Trent for a season. Played all right. He's gone back to Liverpool. Odd. Okay. Thing is, I should also do one with Premiership in. Just see what their table looks like now. Kai Havertz, 228 million. PSG, 242 million. Wow. Wow. What do you think? 200 million. Shot. And then this season, where they won for league. Edo, Etec. They won big. Considering they made 228 million last season. Jesus. Any other big players gone? No. Wow, so we managed to edit population finally. Since day one, that has been a bugbear of mine. But it still is a bugbear because it's not working. And this is what the issue is with editor. More and more you edit, more and more you find bugs that we just can't change stuff. Last episode, we tried doing for advanced rules and came up with the European League error. And I have found out going on to for Sports Interactive forums is it seems like it's a common error with everyone who's trying to edit a nation or make a nation live like as like an old nation it's really really unfortunate that this has happened and with that news i'm gonna have to say that this is the last episode because we can't progress any further yes we can 
put in cups we can well can we put in cups we can put in a cup each simple cup system we can we can't put in playoffs we can't we can't do for advanced stuff that we've already done on my channel you know we can't put that to practice in a nation that's the whole point of this series so i'm really really frustrated i will be keep on checking probably on a day-to-day -day basis to see if an update comes out or sports or interactive fix it i will leave a link in the comment section for the forum please go on there if you're doing something similar to what i'm doing Go on there, put a comment, more noise made on this, and then Sports Interactive really needs to go and fix it. Who knows, for Football Manager 24, we might have to start this all over. Well, we will have to start it all over again because you can't move over and there to files. Maybe, maybe now that you can do saves from FM23 to FM24, FM24 to FM25, I think it even allows you to do FM23 to FM25 by the sounds of it. Maybe, maybe they might let us do editor files so that when you're working on a big project but actually you just transfer it across well on that note i hope that you've enjoyed the series this might not be for last of it i will go away and make some more editor videos of where we can got plenty of questions on my youtube channel so i will go away and review your questions your asks and see what we can do thank you for watching have a great day